The work that I make has a different relationship with time. Eventually it will decay and fall apart, but for right now, and tomorrow, and hopefully five years from now, hopefully 50 years from now, it'll basically be in the same state. I'm from Reno, Nevada. It's really important to me to talk about where I come from. I was a latchkey kid. I lived on a diet of comic books and horror movies and heavy metal music and things like that. I was seven or eight. I was a wee one. And I distinctly remember seeing Picasso's Guarnica. And it was, it was pretty amazing. Paintings about people and people um, suffering and, and living and just trying to deal with the challenges that they have before them, and it's so visceral. And even as a little person, I, I related to that. My parents were always very supportive. And looking back, I was probably kind of a weird kid, and I was very quiet, I was very insular, and they respected that. I think that's the, the best thing my parents ever gave me, was that respect. They gave me books, art supplies, and space, which for a young person like me was essential. And it defined who I am. It, it, it helped me grow into what, what I eventually, um, I guess, the path that I eventually went down. It helped me grow to, to meet that. Uh, most of my work is oftentimes criticized or at least described as being somewhat dark and scary. And I don't see it that way. I see it as it's, as it's emotional and it's emotive and it is relating a certain type of visual complexity to the human condition, which is a very nebulous and complex idea and as a result I want my art to be nebulous and, and kind of difficult to get your, your fingers around. We put up our guards with people and so even our family, people who are really close to us, our spouses, our lovers, our children, we have guards up and rightfully so but we can give ourselves over to art more freely. That because it's not going to judge us. And so we can, it's okay to cry at movies and be aghast at, at plays or, or whatever it is that you're listening to. I think that's why we like it, because it's safe for us to be a little bit more honest with our emotions. And we can't, even with dear friends, it, it's, we have to be on guard. Or else, you know, if we're not, it's, it's certainly at our peril. Which is why, Art doesn't judge us, that's kind of lovely.